Hello and welcome to the beautiful day in Wicklow. I am down on an absolutely stunning river, little river here in Wicklow. I've been doing some sampling along a gravel bar and it's got a lot of clay in it. Now you know from experience, if you've seen any of my videos of clay, Anytime you find clay, it's generally it's the gravel that's packed inside the clay. So if you've got a big clump of clay, big kind of caliche stuff, just dump it out. You can try and wash it down, you might get a few scraps of gold over. But generally it's the gravel that's trapped in between the clay. That's where the clay is acting as a false bedrock and that's where you're generally going to find the gold. So now we know the strategy, just start filling up buckets and putting it through the sluice box. Let's go find the shiny! So what we're going to do now is we're going to start filling up buckets. So because it's very clay rich material here and there's loads of rocks in the way, first thing I'm going to use is just a cultivator. Okay, so all we're doing is just going to pull these rocks out of the way. So all I'm doing is I'm pulling big rocks out of the way, and then what I'm doing is I'm loosening up the soil. And now that the soil is nice and loose, now we can come in with the sucker tube. So all I'll do is come right in to the gravel, pull back, and dump. Simple as that. Pull back, and dump. Now often you'll see me on a clay layer, what I'll do is I'll double drop. So one little issue I'm coming across here, if you watch that bucket for a second as I'm throwing gravel in, and just tell me what's wrong with it. Figure it out. So the bucket is wobbling. The reason it's wobbling is because the rocks are piling up on top, which you're supposed to do. That's actually fine, right? But because of the fact that it's not stable, and as well as that, we have to put a rock in it. So all we'll do is just pull back a few rocks, whatever we need to do, get it relatively stable, that looks good. And I'll just put one or two medium sized rocks in there. You never want to put a giant rock in there. You put a giant rock in there, it's going to be hard to pull it back out again. And again, when you go to clean out the bucket, to get down to the bottom to put it through the loose box, you're going to end up with a lot of weight. Let's try that again and see how that works. Yeah, that, look, that looks a lot better. So again, now that we have a good bit of water in it, so you bounce, 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 and you go. I have seen some classifiers where they'll just sit above the water line here, constantly have to dump water. That's not what you want. You want something that'll sit perfectly into the bucket. That's ideal. So, not even halfway full yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack on with filling up this bucket and when I have three buckets full then we'll head down to this loose box and we'll start blasting through some dirt and hopefully get some really nice gold. Right, let's go find the shiny. Okay, so I've managed to get three buckets full. Um, it's just my normal three gallon bucket. I do have a five gallon bucket here which I filled up with dirt from the three gallons so we'll say we have a total of nine gallons. Um, I'm already seeing a little bit of gold in the box there. I have two views. I have the eight and I have the three. Again, as before, so what we're going to do is just start putting material through. This scoop I picked up in a pet shop, it's for feeding uh, dogs, I think it is, for feeding them their food. Works absolutely brilliant. I think it's about three euro. Like, the buckets cost me about three euro, because I wanted a heavier duty ones that wouldn't constantly fall apart. Um, and I'd say the trail costs like three euro, so you don't always have to spend mad money on things. Yeah, this is working fine. This is a slightly different view on things. So as I feed the material through, again, just going to gently feed it across. Don't want to be too gentle with it. I'm going to put a little bit of water in here because this sandy material is kind of sticking together a bit, kind of clumping together a bit. Yeah, and there we go. So in the time we've been filming, however long it is, we've managed to get through uh, one three-gallon bucket. Right, I'm going to put you into fast frame mode. So you see, just so we can see all these buckets going through. So having run the buckets through the sluice box, what I now need to do is scrape at the bottom of the buckets and just check and see if we still on the gold. Because I did find a little bit of gold earlier, I put it back in the bucket and I put it into the sluice box. So let's go run that through now and see are we still on the gold. I don't want my pan floating away, thank you. Although it's going upstream so it's not too bad. And then again, these buckets were all thoroughly clean before I started here today. Back here pan please. Excellent stuff. 
I, the reason I chose this particular spot to do my panning in is there's a really deep crevice here. Now, happy waders on today. They're waders. Waders. Well, <laughs> waders are absolutely brilliant. Okay. Just, it's not a whole lot of material, so we won't have much work to do here. We're just working on down a little bit. So again, I don't salt any of these things, so there's gold here, there's gold here. I did see a nice little piece earlier. I had to pinch myself six times and check and check and check. And oh, there's gold already. So I'll work that down one more little bit, and then I'll come up to you and we'll have a look together. So let's have a look together. We're still on the gold, so let's have a look. Again, we'll push everything up to the corner. We'll have a quick look. Are we still on the gold? So you can't really see it, but there's black sand. The black sand is a very good sign. The last time I found a lot of black sand, I found a lot of gold. Uh-oh, we have a problem. You know the way I talk about couldn't have done that if I planned? My bucket has gone for a swim. Right, I'm gonna go chase after my bucket. I don't want to go for a walk. Yeah. So, where exactly are you going? Hmm? Go on, where are you going? No, you are not. I'm not having buckets run away. <laughs> this is just one of those things that happens when you're panning for gold that I didn't plan, like the bucket falling over multiple times. Buckets like to run away. Oh well. Okay, right, so we've got a little bit of gold in there. Not a whole lot, but we've got black sand. So what I'm going to do now is just going to power ahead with just filling more and more buckets. And uh, hopefully we have a big massive clean out at the end. Let's go find the shiny! Okay, so I'm running with four buckets. It's about an hour or thereabouts till the sun sets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick clean out of the uh, sluice box, see where we're at, and then I'm also going to go downstream and do a bit more test panning. It's always a good idea, before you finish up, pack up your sluice, get everything ready, and just grab a shovel, a glass of air, and a pan, and go off and do some more sampling so we can investigate where else the gold is, just in case there's no gold in this clean out. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go clean out the sluice box, and I'll see you in a second. Let's go find the shiny! Okay, so I have the pan ready, I have the bucket ready just over here. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do the final clean out. I'm at about four buckets in total. It's getting on for, well, about 45 minutes before sunset. And this time of year, once the sun goes down, oh, it gets cold very quickly. So first things first, I'm gonna put the pan down on the sandbar here. Because again, like whatever you're on, we don't want it floating away. So what I'm gonna do is just pile all of this dirt. No, I say all of this dirt, it's not a whole lot. That's only about half a pan. Oh, that's heavy. When I get down to the point that we're ready for the backspin, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk up behind the camera and just do the reveal together. So, let's do this. That is heavy. I did see some garnets in the top of the sluice box, so this could be nice. I haven't seen garnets in ages. Right, let's try this, see if we go on it. Get on. Again, you want to tilt it backwards so everything falls back into the same center. In front. One, two, three. Again, we're going to be nice and gentle with this because this is the sluice cons. What I used to do was fill up an old detergent box and bring that home and pan it down. Probably might get back to doing that at some point, but for the time being I need to know if there's gold here so I can know whether or not to come back. Getting some nice dark material there. Okay, that's probably as far as I'm going to go. So what I'm going to do is going to come around the back of the camera. So again, I don't salt. I have no idea what's going to be here. There was one tiny piece of gold that was in the bucket. It was in the pan, I threw it in the bucket and dropped that in the sluice. Just so I didn't have to snuff it up there and then. So let's see what there is. Oh, that's a lot of black sand. Wow, that's a lot of black sand. Does the black sand have any gold in it? Oh, it does! Oh, it does! Oh, yes, yes, yes! It oh, wow, I'm coming back here. I've only ran a small amount of material and the sluice initially wasn't running right, it was overpacking. That is a mountain of black sand! This is why I do the reveal live. Look at the amount of black sand in there. That is acres of it. I mean, it's not a whole lot of gold. Just here. Oh, hold the steady there so I can zoom in afterwards. But that's nice. That is a lot of black sand. This place is a serious contender for more exploration. So that's some nice gold there, isn't it? That's not a whole lot of gold, but not a lot of material run either. So, really, I was just scraping the top of the clay layer. I think the next day. I'll just run absolutely tons more dirt to the loose box there. Hope you enjoyed today's episode of Washing Rocks' Loose Box. If you enjoyed this, chances are you liked the videos I previously posted and one of you posting in the future. Don't forget to subscribe button and sure I'll catch you next time. We can all go.
Fine, more shiny!